Health Minister Stella Chilufia has clarified that the COVID-19 case recorded on the copper belt yesterday was a double count, which is a sample for a Masaiti-based patient. Dr. Chilufia says the cases on the copper belt therefore remain at four, with 39 in the SAC and one case in Kabwe, making the active cases 44. Brian Marley has the rest of it. Zambia's COVID-19 cases have continued to steadily rise, with the number now standing at 89, following two new cases recorded in Kafue district. Lord Health Man. Minister Chitalu Chilufia at the daily COVID-19 media briefing reviewed that the, the new cases that include a 13-year-old child alien. are contacts of another positive case. The two individuals have been moved to their facilities and a new generation of contacts is being tracked. Cumulatively, we have 2,942 people that have been discharged from the 14-day mandatory quarantine. However, one case on the corporate board has been ruled out after being discovered to have been a retest of someone already quarantined. While stating that government has heightened disease surveillance in testing, Dr. Chilufia advised Zambians not to weaken their guard against other serious diseases like malaria, tuberculosis and HIV and AIDS. TB and HIV AIDS are still public health challenges in the country and as we combat COVID-19, let us remember all our responsibilities in order to avoid contracting HIV AIDS and getting TB. And various cooperating partners have continued supplementing government efforts with the All With The Friend, the association of Indian community donating 24,000 face masks and thousands of test kits. 20,000 swaps for PCR tests. This will allow the ministry to test 20,000 animals. 1,900 rapid diagnostic antibody tests to, to assist the ministry in prevalence measures. Red Sea and Godfathers also donated 100,000 kwacha. Betway came in with health equipment and sanitation aid with over 100,000 kwacha, while Java Food supplemented government with nutritional needs. We're going to donate 1,600 packets of pets as well as um, 3,000 single serve, single serve packets of uh, pets as well. And the reason why we're doing this is we want the isolation centers to also. Um, able to uh, access this, but also the vulnerable communities. Dr. Chilufia reiterated government's commitment to transparency and accountability for the donated items as it heightens the fight against the pandemic, which has so far claimed three lives in the country. Brian Mwale, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe.